Or should we get going? Let's get going. All right. Good luck. As always. You too. A new power is rising. <laughs> Oh gosh, now all of these cards are going to be brand new to me. That is, <laughs> like, take your tat, yep. <laughs> it's... I'm, like, I'm so used to just glimpsing in a card, and I'm like, okay, <laughs> yep, I remember what that does, and now all of these are new, so. <laughs> if it helps you, now... same same here. Um, okay. <laughs> like, even, I, I've gotten to the point, I'm sure you might have too, where it's like, I see a... F uh, the text of a top part and i'm like oh that's a combat effect i want to use like i already know yeah and not here no nope. <laughs> yeah. well i guess this will be good like maybe if we like started getting into the habit of like alternating then you and i can like yeah maybe, maybe that's like the next step in like right like mastering improving improving how we play like our preferred faction you know no that is a good point yep yeah that once we get um you know once we get pretty comfortable with both two i've seen some pretty cool like obviously we could switch every couple of times or just you know do it random um but there's also some balancing like people have made like house rules to like basically bid on which side you want to play um, and it mm -hmm. gives you like an extra token to play at some point or things like that. It's kind of cool. So, Whoa, nice. like the tournament or tournament even uses like yeah, it's like because it's after my rounds, which are just like you play one side each time. It's a, mm -hmm. a single elimination with um, three games each, and so to make it fair, oh. you bid on which side you want for the third game, and there's like a certain set of rules for that. So yeah, very cool. All right, I think I know what my cards are. Are you still looking or do you want me to? Oh, I guess it's your turn. I forget now. It's a fellowship phase. Um. <laughs> um. So now you can declare the position of the fellowship, which <laughs> they are at zero on the progress counter. So it wouldn't yep. do anything except heal them, which you're already at zero corruption because you're in a stronghold. So, yep. Okay. The other thing you do is change the guide of the fellowship. So you have to have the guide be one of the characters with the highest leadership, which right now mm -hmm. is Gandalf and Strider. Um, so really what you could do right now is replace Gandalf with Strider for his ability as guide if you wanted to. Otherwise, you could just say nothing for the fellowship. So. Okay. Oh, gosh. Can I use any? <laughs> <laughs> So, and this is at the beginning of each turn I can yep yep at the beginning of each before we roll dice you get to d decide this so yep okay uh nope I'm I'm good okay I'm good if we want to just go for yep. it all right then let's I get to allocate. I will do a singular eye, I think. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Here we go. The board is set. Good luck. Oh, only. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now you, as three peoples, have the option to go first, but of course, as always, you could pass if you have less die. So, um, I will pass. Okay. Um, interesting. I'm going to. I'm going to play a muster. And bring Isengard to war.
kan? Um, I guess I will use a muster die and I will muster a Rohan elite in Helm's Deep. So you can't muster with a muster die unless the um, nation is at war. That is right. Unless you have a card that lets you do so. Um, <laughs> okay. I will use a muster die to activate Rohan. So you can. How do I... Oh, so, so so you can't activate, but you can bring them down one if you want. So they only activate oh. by me attacking them, or by you declaring the fellowship in a city or stronghold. Of, or, so. Okay. Yep. All right. Sure, I'll do that. <laughs> Very good. All right, I will. Might as well bring out Saruman. Right off the bat. A new power. <laughs> you were ready for that one. Oh yeah. Tears streaming down my face like worm tongue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. I guess I will use a Will of the West to move the fellowship. Yep, so what you can do instead of dragging that yourself is slide the Will of the West to this hunt box here, and that puts it where it has to go and moves the fellowship. Cool. All right. Okay. Come on, lucky number six. Here we go. Nope. All right. Very nice. I will. I feel I felt really excited about that first part, and now I don't know what to do. Uh -huh. <laughs> sure, we will. I'm going to muster a Isengard elite. Oh no, sorry. Ignore that. I'm going to use the voice of Saruman to replace. Two of my Isengard regular units with an Isengard lead in North End. Mm. Yep, two elite units. Alright. Like, I know I played Shadow in the tournament, but you have no idea how weird this feels to be playing Shadow <laughs> right now. <laughs> For sure. Um, I'm gonna play an event card and okay. play Horn of Gundor, I think. Yep. So since Boromir's still in the fellowship, I guess I can use that to mitigate it. Is that any any hunt tile? Yep. Or is that like the first hunt tile that you're able to draw? Uh, nope, it's a you may discard. So um, whenever I do draw a hunt tile, as long as Boromir's still in the Fellowship, you can choose to discard that to reduce it by one. So Okay, so say like you do draw a hunt tile, it's a corruption of one. Can I choose not to discard that card? Yep, you could just take that corruption or handle it some other way. So. Yep. Okay, sounds good. And then since... Um... Since Gandalf is the leader, I think I'm able to. Yep. Since I, sorry, I just want to get this right. Yep. Um, I have to use an event action die 
play an event card, you can immediately draw an event card matching that type of card? Exactly, so you can draw another character card. Cool. Character... Uh, you're up. You're up top. Right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, Alright. Like this is way too early, but let's sure we'll attack the Fords of Eisen. From Orthanc. Okay. Um. We will retreat to Helm's Deep. Uh. So sorry. You. Um. I. I guess oh, we so have to play. You have to do one, one combat round. Um, oh yeah. One so I will round. not play a card. And I only hit on sixes for this one with four rerolls. You only hit on sixes? Yep, because you have a fortification, so the first combat round is uh, just sixes. So. Okay. Um, I will not play a card. Okay. I almost went to your combat dice. So. Gosh, yeah. Um, <laughs> so three die. Uh, okay. Two. Uh, that guy's oh, only two die and one yep. reroll, right? Okay. All right. Here, Here we go. go. Good luck. First battle of the age. Oh, oh. my god. Oh. <laughs> that's unbelievable. You do get a reroll, but that's just not fair. Ah. <laughs> oh. To be fair, I think this means I'm not to jinx myself. I'm not going to roll well on hunts because that's how it always works for you. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So that activates roll. It on, activates right? them and moves them down one because I attacked. Yep. And then, um, you can. So move. everyone here is gone. Yep. And these guys don't get replaced, right? They do not, unfortunately. Okay. Okay, I think I can. Oh, not Saruman, obviously. So I liked how it warned me that Saruman can't move. That's great. <laughs> right. yeah. Um. So the army has to be at war to muster. Correct. Yep. Well, I suppose I will use my last die to move Rohan to war. Okay. If it changes things, you could um, still move your armies again within, like, they just can't cross borders if that changes what you want to do there. But as long as you uh, do that. Um, oh, okay. Um, no. Okay. Yep. That's... <laughs> All right, I will. So Rohan's at war. I think it just makes sense then to. I will attack Helm's Deep. We'll take you head on. Just kidding. Oh, are you sure? Into a siege, yeah. So you can, uh, just so you know, you can click Helm's Deep to retreat everyone in that area into a siege, which is kind of nice, potentially. Uh, there it goes. Oh, okay. <laughs> Doesn't make much of a difference, but, you know. All right. I will move everyone. Okay. All right. And you're out of dice, so I will... I'm going to draw a strategy card, I think, with my yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. 
That's all our dice. Victor, Three. check. No one is winning. Very fair. <laughs> Nice, that's a good card to get early. Also a good card for what I want to do. Okay. Um, would you like to declare the position of the fellowship or change the guide? Um, no. Okay. Is that right? Yep. No, that's totally right. I just was, yeah. um, I'm trying okay. to think of how many dice I want to allocate because I have to do one. So yeah, I don't know if I want to do more. I just forgot to hit the button. Yep. Was not doubting your move at all. Um, we'll keep okay. it as one. Right. Here we go. Wow, that is a movement roll. <laughs> mm -hmm. You get to go first if you choose to. Okay. Um. Yes, I am going to use a character die okay. to move the fellowship. All right. Oh, oh there it is. All right. Okay. Go so, ahead. Oh, that's right. I have to do this. Okay. Draw a tile. Damage. An eye. Okay. So that's okay. one damage and reveal. Okay. So um, now you can first use Horn of Gondor if you choose to. Then you may either kill a random companion or the guide of the fellowship. But the random one could be the guide. Or you can just take it at that point as corruption. So. Um, so I could use the Horn of Gondor to not be revealed? Uh, it would still reveal you. It would just reduce the one corruption, unfortunately. So. Okay. I don't I'm believe... not going to use okay. it. Yeah, I think Gollum is the only ability that lets you avoid reveals. Everything else is a, uh, um, it's just corruption focused, so. Okay, I'll take the one corruption. Okay. Then you just get to slide this marker to the one position. And, All right. and then reveal. Feel, right? Yep. And so now they're two away, so you have to show where they're going to end up. The only major consideration, if you remember, is that if you reveal into Moria, I get to draw an extra hunt tile because uh, you revealed into a shadow stronghold. So. Okay. Um, well, I'm going to reveal... Right, I mean, you can't get there, but I just meant for, like, so you remember yeah. that. Yep. Yep. Okay. Sounds good. All right. And then you won't be able to move until you hide again, which you can do with a character action die unless Aragorn is the guide or you have a card that lets you do so. so. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, we will... We will press Helm's Deep, I guess. And um, we're gonna try not playing a card. I know I need sixes, yeah, okay. but yeah. Don't know if you'll need it. Uh, <laughs> I hope yeah, not. I'm not gonna play a card either. Alright. We've seen worse odds before. Good luck. Oh, hey there, Tootie. There it is. Oh, 
That's just not fair for you. It was almost a six. <laughs> it was. <laughs> All right. Well, enjoy Helm's Deep. I didn't like it anyways. Well, thank you. It seems like a nice place to visit. All right, your turn. Um, I will use a character action to hide the fellowship. Okay. Oh. No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we will... I will muster and bring... Hmm. Sure. We'll bring Sauron to war. I'm going to use a mustard die and recruit a Rohan elite to Edoras. Okay. Hmm. A. Sorry, I'm just thinking for a sec. I will use a character die. And move the army from Helm's Deep to West Emmet. Yikes. Um, <laughs> what do I want to do? I guess I'm going to use a Will of the West to, as a muster die to recruit a Rohan elite. Okay. To Edoras. Mm -hmm. All right. I know this is foolish, but I will try to attack Adoras. Bring it. All right. So I've got five dice and three rerolls, and you have four dice. I will play a card. Okay.
Um, I suppose I will too. Okay. All right. Yep. I can flip uh, mine whenever you take yours out. So. Sure. All right. So yeah, I yeah, get Mike. to cancel yours. So. No. <laughs> I'm sorry. You son of a gun. <laughs> All right. Whatever. All right. Canceled. <laughs> I was All hoping right. for that extra dice, but that or an extra one, but that's okay. Good luck. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's just. <laughs> oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> So that's three hits. There you go. Later, Rohan. No, no, you don't have to kill all of them, Jeff. Yeah, I do, don't I? Oh, wait. It's only three. Wait, three hits. And they're each double. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Okay, well. Those I will. So I guess you could kill all of them and bring three regulars, but yeah. I guess I'll reduce all of them to regulars. Uh, so uh, you can take your regulars from your uh, dead pool. That is one uh, exception to the rule is if you're replacing or down, like downgrading an elite, you can, uh, yeah. Okay. To make sure you don't burn through your reserves too quick. Oh, and you scored four hits, right? Uh, I thought it was just three, but let me check. I shouldn't have deleted my dice, sorry. Um, no, it did say. I rolled a two, I rolled three sixes, so just three hits. The five didn't count because it's a city for the first round, so. Okay. I so removed get... three elites from there, I think. Okay, yep, that was all right. Okay. I will press with out a card. I'm not playing a card either. All right. Just raw battle strength. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> wow. That's, I don't even. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Well, that's or awesome. Wait, is it? So I hit on fives oh, or sixes after hits. the first. Oh, yep. Sorry, God. did you want to retreat? I guess you could have retreated. Um, um, nah, that's fine. I didn't know if you would remember that. I'm sorry. No, no, that's okay. That makes sense. All right, I will move these guys. And we'll just do that. All right. Okay. And you're out of dice, so I will... Rohan's at war, so I think I can bring in the Witch King, right? If Sauron, at least one free people's nation are at war. Okay. Yep. Cool. One Sauron unit. That's the worst decision I have to make now. Does this decision stress you out as much as it's stressing me out? I don't know where I want to put the Witch King. Um... <laughs> <laughs> it's not stressing me out, no. Well, I'm normally, I mean, you know, when you're... Uh... Oh, when I do that. <laughs> yeah. um, All right. No, I have really. lost the Witch King so many times up here, but we're going to go ahead and talk about that. <laughs> Sounds good. All right. And then I will play a character card from my hand. I'll play on, on, they went. So this will okay. get added to the hunt pool. And then I'll keep the eye over here because that will get added as well. Okay. All right. I'm at three victory points. You're at one corruption. Ready to move is on to turn. Late to, is it too late to switch back for me to be shadow and you be free people? <laughs> well, you know, it'd be awfully confusing, but I suppose we could. You really... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, sorry. 
that, I mean, I didn't do oh, anything. It good. just went really quick. All right. Mm -hmm. okay. Would you like to change the guide? You can't declare because, well, you can't declare, but it wouldn't do anything since you're at zero on the track and not in a stronghold. So. Sorry, what was your question? I oh, sorry. A card. Yep. Uh, I, would you like to declare the felt left position or change the guide? And I said declaring wouldn't do anything because you're not in a stronghold and at zero, so it would just keep you there. But... Uh, no. Okay. Uh, no to either. All right. All right. I will allocate a second eye I don't love it but we'll see okay here we go all right interesting <laughs> Um, <laughs> hmm. Gosh. Do you ever just feel like overwhelmed at the start of a pre people's game? Like, yes. Yep. <laughs> is it, is it tough starting out? Yes. I mean, Yes and no. Like, yeah, okay. it's tough starting out because you're very restricted on the moves you can make because you have, like, so few dice. Um, mm -hmm. And depending on, like, the rules of the shadow player, it really affects what you can do. So, um, but, like, usually okay. I kind of know what I'm going for at the beginning of a shit, like, free people's game. So I can talk more about that if you ever want to. But, um, sure. But like also, I end up getting very stressed because things change. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, I have like no strategy. I'm I'm just basically being like, I'm reacting to everything that's happening. Right. But, right. That's fair. Uh. But, in time, in time. Exactly. I mean, not to. I'd okay. say if you can do it as safely as possible, even without strategy, moving the fellowship puts the pressure on the shadow player so that's always a yeah yeah totally yeah well i think i have the die to try and do <laughs> that so i'm gonna use a character die to okay. try to move the fellowship and i will roll three to try to get a six and you're safe all right Whew. Okay. Yeah, let's do... I will play in army action. I'm going to move... Let's see. I got those two. All right. I'm going to move a. Well, I'll move both. I'm sorry. I'll move both of my characters in Edoras to Fable. Or Fold. Okay. And then I'm going to move this army in Baradur down to Gorgorath.
I'm gonna use a character die to try and move the fellowship. Okay. So now I hit on fives or sixes because you moved once this turn. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. So still just one hunt tile. Okay. And it's just a one with a reveal. So that's rough. Okay. Uh, yeah. So first you can choose how to mitigate damage if you choose to. Um, starting with the Horn of Gondor, and then if you don't do that, you can eliminate a companion, either the guide or take it randomly. Um. um. Would you like a suggestion, potentially? Because I see you're looking Perfect. at Gandalf the White. I don't want to yeah. influence you. Okay, so um, it, it, like you could kill Gandalf off on this one so because you have a Will of the West, which is nice. But you mm -hmm. are revealed, and you might know this, so sorry if I'm just, you know, spouting. Right. So since if you choose to go through Moria and get revealed through Moria, you'll have to draw that mm -hmm. second hunt tile, and there's a chance it's higher damage. Um, mm -hmm. However, there's also the chance it's an I or a zero, which would both be zero. So it wouldn't help you there for Gandalf, but like, you know, it might mm -hmm. help mitigate more corruption if you wait. So I just wanted to make sure you knew how that all worked, that you could like take the damage now, then maybe kill him off through Moria. But I'm sorry yeah. if I'm saying too much here. So No, that's okay. Um... I uh, yeah, I guess I'll take the damage now. Okay. Without using the horn, just take the one. Yeah, I'll take the one. All right. And then you're revealed. So where would you like to reveal to? In Moria. So right here then, Dimmerdale, because you get to move through oh, it. Yep. Yep. All right. And then I'll flip that Eyes. for you. Eyes. And I'll get to draw a hunt tile. Okay. Well, it's a three, um, which is perfect if your goal is to kill off Gandalf. I will say that. Yeah, I think I'll use Gandalf <laughs> to okay. to take that corruption. So I usually just throw his card up here somewhere with his character, and it should stay out of the way. And then you can f uh, drag Strider off and flip him over. Oh, I think you flipped the whole deck. <laughs> okay. Nice move. <laughs> I mean, I I don't know if I don't know what's good or a, a bad move, but if you say it's a good move, I'll, uh, I'll take it. So I would say kind of what you are saying, like I like to try to play risky till I. Well, like, I'd like to use Gandalf while I can, but I also move more risky mm -hmm. with Gandalf because it's three corruption you can absorb, plus you can potentially bring him back. So, yep. Yeah, right. Again, I'm not trying to influence you in any way, just, yep. No, that makes sense. I'm going to use a muster to muster a Isengard elite and Orthic. Okay. So, so I'm just reading the Gandalf the White card. Yep. It says Gandalf the Grey has been eliminated, and any minion is in play. You may as a will of the West play Gandalf the White. Um, what does that mean? And any minion is in play. Oh, yep. So that just means I had to have brought in Saruman, the Witch King, or the Mouth of Sauron before you could bring oh, in Gandalf the White. so you had to do a move first before yep. Gandalf the White could come in. Okay. Yep. And so, like, say yeah. you had rolled this roll on your first turn, I might have waited to bring in Saruman because, like, there's a chance you could have killed off Gandalf with three movement and a Will of the West. But, um, yep. So that's, like, a strategy the Shadow can do to delay Gandalf the White. 
Gotcha. Okay. Wait, hang on. Say that scenario okay. again. Yep. Sorry. So you know this move or this turn you had like two daggers, a will of the west, and like you could use a ring, so you could have a lot of movement and a will of the west. So mm -hmm. say you would have done that on turn one, like yeah. ruled that on turn one. I might have delayed bringing Saruman out because by bringing Saruman out, you could have then brought Gan like you could have just tried to kill Gandalf by, you know, moving recklessly and you know trying to kill him off, and then. But whereas if I hadn't have played Saruman, it would have delayed you a turn to bring in Gandalf the White. So that makes sense. Yeah, very specific. But I've I've heard that that's like a thing you can do to kind of delay Gandalf the White coming out and giving you that extra dice. So sure, that makes sense. Okay, and you had just brought in that Isengard elite, right? Yep. So okay. it's your turn. Well, I guess, I guess I will use a Will of the West to bring in Gandalf the White then. Okay. Um, so in Fangorn. Um, I guess. I don't really know the difference, so... Yeah? We'll do that. Okay. Welcome back, Gandalf. Oh, wait, hang on. What is this thing? Oh, yep, yeah, so that's just, um, you don't have to, in the, like, the... Sorry, in the board game, you can put that under the normal Gandalf token to show that it's Gandalf the White, oh, but this has yep. the normal. Yeah. And then Got we have it. the Lords of Middle Earth came with special miniatures for him. So that's what we were playing when you and I played. So that makes sense. Okay. All right. Oh, and I totally forgot, even though it was on my list. Um, and sorry if this changed, I think we were supposed to activate all of your people because I brought in the mouth of Sauron. Or sorry, the um, Witch King. So okay. Alright. I'm going to do a let's see. Sorry, just looking at my cards for a sec. Sure, we will. I will use a... I will use an army muster and muster a Sauron elite in Dol Galdor, I think. Okay. Sorry for that okay. delay. No worries.
it's just funny because like I know I have a strong like footing point wise already but I feel the same way when you say there's so much to think about I'm like completely like there's just I'm not used to having so many nations moving at the same time <laughs> yeah for sure yeah. um I am going to use a muster die and move Gondora closer to war okay Use a leader or a character action to move this army into all. Oh, yeah. hmm. I'll move this army into all Galdor to the south and to another. Oh, and then sorry, I didn't realize you're out of dice. Um, to play a card I'm gonna play shadows gather move one shadow army up to three regions or the movement must end in region already occupied by another shadow army mm -hmm. I'm gonna move this army in West Emmet one two three to join the witch king Wow okay <laughs> <laughs> okay I will use my last action to draw a strategy card. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. Two corruption now, so three victory points for Shadow. Moving on to turn four. And I have to discard down. I do too. Um... get rid of this, but I think I need to. Ah, uh, fine. Right. I'm down. But take your time. Would you like um, to uh, 
Oh wait, did, oh, is, am I down to six? Oh. Yep. I think you're good. I thought I had one more. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Okay. Um, you are revealed, so you can't declare, and then you can't, or you can't change the, well, you can't change the guy because Strider has the highest leadership. So, mm -hmm. I will. I'll allocate one more. I kind of like that too. All right. Good luck. Wow. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is going to be ugly. I don't even know what to do. Um, I have an idea, but I don't know if this is dumb. <laughs> Try it and it works. I don't know what to do in this situation. Um, <laughs> like the overall situation or specific card or something you're trying to say to do? Well, I don't like the circumstances. Okay. But I also don't know if there's much I can do about it. Because, like, I don't know if I should be reacting to, like, a, like some plays that you just did or if I should be thinking beyond what you just did um i see i guess um yeah let me just think for one more yeah second. no really not a problem
Um, I'm going to use an event die. Okay. And I'm going to play... Why here the Windlord? Okay. I guess. Yep. Separate from the fellowship one companion or one group of companions as if they're level four. Does that mean their movement level is four? Yes. Yep. Um, so if you click on search the fellowship, it'll give you a little tool to separate if that might make it easier. But yep. yeah. Um, problem is i don't know what any of these people do now um, <laughs> if you have any questions i'm happy to to help Okay. Um, I am going to separate Strider and Boromir. Okay. And I'm going to move them to Minas Tirith. Okay. And I will keep everyone else the same and make Legolas the new guide okay and then that will discard horn of gondor just so you know it does yep oh if boromir loses the fellowship yep so oh, that's that's fine okay yeah so strider boromir Denethor will not be happy. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I will do an army action. Yeah. I'm going to move these guys to. Well, we're going to move to Parth Celebrant, actually. Okay. And then my second army move will be, oh, nope, not that lone guy. This group from mm -hmm. Gorgoroth into Minas Morgul. Okay. 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 I'm just curious, are you able to eliminate Gandalf the White in Fangorn or no, since he doesn't have an army that you can fight? Nope, yeah, only if there's an army with him can he be eliminated. So. 
Okay. I didn't know if you were going to wipe him out quick. And no, no. Continue, continue your dirty <laughs> business. <laughs> nope, you're safe for now. All right. That's good. Um, well, I'm going to use a Will of the West to move, move the fellowship. Uh, so you have to hide them first, just so you know. They were revealed. Hide the fellowship? <laughs> and then I'll put this back here so you don't get a negative there. And then it moved it automatically, so you were at zero. So, okay. Oh, I, I was at zero there. Yeah. Or yep. I should have been. Okay. So that should be good. Okay. Hmm. Does that change? I'm going to grab a drink really quick. I'll be right back. Okay. No problem. I'm going to do the same, so. Good. Now I've got him what I was going to do here for my turn. So you just hid the fellowship, right? That's correct. Okay. And I'm going to... There's so many things I want to do with Shed. It's so, like, the board just feels bigger. It's so weird. I don't know. I haven't <laughs> played Shadow TTS since, like, my first game, so this is all so different. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, we will... I will attack... Ooh, do I want to use... Yeah, let's... I'm going to use an army action to attack at Lorien. Okay. Would you like to retreat into a siege? Yes. Okay. Oh, oh, not Gandalf. Unless he wants to join us, that's totally welcome. Um, on our side. Watch from afar. All right. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> ah. All right. Your turn. Does that attack bring the elves closer to war, or does that? Oh, um, good, good point. Yep, thank you. Yep. I didn't know if the battle had to commence first or. or no, because that's still attacked. So, yep, that wasn't mm -hmm. enough. Okay. Um. I guess I will use a character die to move the fellowship. Okay. <clears throat> I'll roll three, hit on sixes. Oh, Safe. Okay. Wow, Ooh. that was close. All right. bad about this but it's what the dice not really but I mean it's not that bad but it's what the dice or cards present me with I'm going to use a character action to play a card called Cruel Weather oh, play if the yep. fellowship is on step one or higher move them to an adjacent region 
So wow. I'm going to move them back <laughs> to Mario. <laughs> 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 uh. I don't like Shadow. I feel so mean. <laughs> yes, when we we're away from the grips of Moria, right back in. Yeah, you heard Gandalf's call, and you had to go back and look for him. Mm-hmm. Well, wow, that's brutal. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Well. And then we can check, and not that it would. I, don't want to again i don't want to change i believe you can declare into a um so you can declare into a besieged stronghold i believe um mm -hmm. but you can't like separate companions into that stronghold if you're not in it already um so that's like the difference so right um and just because you're close it, to one so. and i take it it doesn't heal any corruption to be in a besieged stronghold right uh, it does because it's unconquered i believe is the text and i will check that just before i tell you for sure um so Okay. Yep. Yeah, because there's unconquered and free, so it's not like it's not a free region because it's uh, you know, it has people in it, but I believe it's unconquered, which means you would be able to heal. So let's check. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Declaring the fellowship. You may immediately move the ring bearers a number of regions equal to or less than the fellowship track. Then they reset the fellowship counter. Um, okay, let me... it contains a free people's oh sorry so if you declare in a f um, free people city or stronghold so city two i've actually never done that so sorry I've, i didn't tell you that um not under enemy control so that means so since it's still it's under besiege but it's under enemy control you can declare there and heal so yep um, so you could end up there potentially. The only thing is if I reveal you, you can't, <laughs> you can't end up in a stronghold. Um, it has to be outside okay. of a stronghold, but a declare you can. So, yep. Sounds good. All right. Sorry for all that. Your, your move. I hope I'm being helpful and not just, uh, you know, no, tell you, you stuff you already know. So. Sure. <laughs> yeah, you're being helpful. I'm gonna pass. Okay. I will. Yeah, I will. It's like every time I want to use a dice for something else. So I will use a character action. Mm, sorry. No, I will use an army action this feels like a waste that's fine i'll use an army action to push the siege of lorian which brings you down one and i will let's see you have i will play a card okay i will two yep um hang on actually let me think about that yep no problem Mine is out, so either way, it's mine's selected.
Actually, no, I'm not going to use a de- uh, card. Okay. Mine is Great Host. So it says that if after removing casualties from the combat roll, need reroll. Um, if I number as twice as many as your enemy army units, score one automatic hit, which I think you've used a lot against me. So. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Gosh. All right. Well, you here have we 20 dice with 20 rerolls. So here we go. I don't think that's exactly how it works out, but I appreciate the confidence. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here we go. Good luck. Oh, wait. Hang on. Sorry. Oh. I rolled four dice instead of three. Okay. Sorry. Gotcha. If it ever like completes a roll, we could always just roll again, or you could just remove the like the rightmost die I've heard people do. Mm-hmm. So like, yeah. okay, okay. So I got one hit, you got good. one, and I get one, two, three, four re rolls. I believe the witch king just gives me one re roll, right? Or no, two. Um, is it two? It is. Because he has a yeah a well, leadership a of Naz- two. Okay, we well, have a Nazgul. And then, what about the uh, Isengard elites, though? Don't they give you? Oh, those are two. So I would have five leadership, but only f- I could. I have one hit, so I can reroll four. Wow. Okay. okay. And then you get one reroll. Yeah. Still no hits or no more hits. So, all right. Oh. All right. All right. Two hits. So one hit, and then I believe I'll get an extra one, no matter what, on yours if I do the math right. So, yeah. So two hits for me and two hits for you, with my including my card. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm just gonna take um, out two regulars. Oop! Did I? Okay, I'm gonna. Oh no! I might. Never mind. I actually deleted them instead of sliding them over. I don't know. Deleted who? What? I instead of like moving them, I pressed the delete button on the two that I was getting rid of. Um, I oh. don't know if they're out of the game entirely <laughs> now. I'm worried. All right, so I could try control a Zing, which I'm worried will break other things, or I could just duplicate a Sarn regular and a Isengard regular because it doesn't look. They did not end up back in these rows. It doesn't look like. So. Yeah. Um, I promise I'm not cheating. If you're okay with that. So. <laughs> I yeah that's okay. Uh, all right, so do not delete units; just drag them over. All right. If you see multiple Gimli's and multiple Boromir, all don't right. question anything. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the way you want to play, I see. Yeah. Um, I will. All right, so you've got. I will... Um, sorry, I'm trying to figure out how to. Oh, okay. Oh, and then I I get to draw a card because I played a card for okay. the Witch King. First turn, and that was a uh, strategy card. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna take the two hits with the elite there. Okay, sounds good. I will. I just have to look at what I. Hmm. And then does that? Did you move the elves down again? I did not. Or I did. Yes, sorry. Yep. So they're here. If I take it, they'll move to at war. So. Okay. Yep. I will. Oh. Interesting. Sorry. I feel like I'm going crazy. Um, Sure. I will downgrade to press. And I will play a card. I will not play a card. I feel like I'm just burning through my cards here. Um, so I'm gonna play Great Host again. The same thing. Oh my god! <laughs> and that's why I was going. Okay. I was going crazy because I was like, wait, did I just put this back in my hand? And <laughs> did you duplicate that? Card? No, I promise. Oh <laughs> you can go back and watch the stream. I haven't. <laughs> no, that's okay. Right. I believe you. All right, good luck. Two hits, and that's Lorian. Oh, yeah, that's 
because then I got the one. Free yeah, because you'll get the extra hand. Okay, yeah. good game or good round, not good game. But... Good game. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no, I promise. <laughs> wow. I'm used to I'm used you... to getting four victory points and being excited about that. So. Oh yeah. 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 <laughs> Uh, all right. So I will take. You got two hits, right? Two hits. I feel like I might regret it, but I'm just gonna take out the Sauron Elite here. Okay. Okay. And the elves are at war. The elves are at war. And then I slid yours over just so I could end the siege here. Flip that. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Um. I suppose I'm gonna use a Will of the West to bring in Aragorn. Okay. Nice stride. Direction. I already have. Sorry, I just gotta think for a second. Do I want to change that? I sure I will muster an Isengard elite in Orthing. I'm going to use an army muster die and move and recruit a elven elite in the woodland realm. Just thinking for a sec. No worries. I 
think I will. Yeah, I'll be able to. All right, I'm going to use a character action to move this army to North Alien. Yeah. Okay. All right. <clears throat> I am at five victory points. You are at one fellowship movement and two corruption. Okay. Starting turn five. I'm gonna feel so bad if I can play this and this in combo with what I did to him last turn. Oh. Um. Okay. Uh, would you like to change the guide or declare the position of the fellowship? Uh. Oh, good. He'll be able to declare out, and I will encourage him to do so. I will so. not change the guide, but I will declare the fellowship. Okay. Dale, I guess. Yeah. Or, wait, they can't declare in Moria, right? So it's like... I mean, they could... So, you could declare in Moria, but it would waste a turn and not do anything because it's not a free people stronghold, so... Yeah. Right. Okay, I just didn't know if it was, like... Since there's one on the movement... Um... I guess... Never mind. That makes sense. I'll just say Dimmerald Dale. Okay. I mean, if you... Are you sure it makes sense or? Yeah. Okay, yep. cool. Yep, just double checking. Well, that. I should have known that was going to happen. That quite changed my plans for. I should have played things different. Not that I don't like the fellowship or anything. But... <laughs> Alright. Um, I will. Oh, I don't know. Should I risk not. All right, I'm just going to keep the one in and see what the, the dice give me. So. Okay. Here we go. Okay. The dice told me what to do. <laughs> uh, That's how I always do it. That's why I always <laughs> only put one, because there's always more. Uh, no, you can't say that, because at least in person, you never roll more. The... <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> Which might be the dice telling you that, so I suppose I shouldn't judge. So. Yeah. Yeah, I wonder what the dice are telling me here. <laughs> <laughs> Got some nice Maybe cards should... over there. Maybe I should play an event card. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, so glad I got those extra dice with. Gandalf the White and Aragorn. <laughs> hey, they really like their event cards there, the two of them. <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> um. I'm going to use a character action. Hmm. I got to think about this. <laughs> um, I'm going to use an army or a muster to recruit a Gondor elite in Minas Tirith. Uh, Gondor still isn't at war, just so you, you know. What? That's a <laughs> bunch of baloney. I'm sorry. <laughs> um. Oh my gosh. 
I feel like this is ta taking twice as long than if I were to be playing Shadow. <laughs> it's all right. Uh, I it's a I am enjoying the mix up, like facing you when you have so much Shadow knowledge versus like vice versa. It's very mm -hmm. interesting. Okay. Uh, okay, here's what we're gonna do. Many, oh, that is your die. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, <sighs> I'm going to use an army or muster to recruit. Can I recruit two regulars, right? Yep, but they have to be in different areas, but yes. Okay. Two elven regulars. Okay. I am going to play a army action and I'm going to move an Isengard elite to the forts of Eisen mm -hmm. and I'm going to move some of this army here what do you mean? sure we'll leave a few regulars behind in Lorien. I guess. I'm gonna play, use an event action die. I'm gonna play the Ents Awaken. Ooh, all right. Um, so I'm gonna roll three die, four or more. Yep. I'm praying I get two hits since I wasn't getting any. I hits knew this earlier. was risky. Oh no. Here we go. I am. Oh, please. Just two hits. Don't Come do on. it. Don't do it. Yes. No. All right. Good roll. So that I believe hurts. that takes down uh, Saruman, too. It most definitely does. Wow. Good. Good play. And then it says... If Gandalf the White is in Fangorn, you may immediately play another character event card yep. from your hand without using an action die. Um, so 
I'm gonna play. Okay. Elven rope. Very nice. Good turn. Wow. Thank you. You know, I don't know if it's us or just the game, but Saruman never seems to last in any of our games. <laughs> <laughs> Saruman and Helm's Deep, they just... <laughs> they never last. No. Uh, Actually, wait. No, no, no. Helm's, no, Helm's, no, Helm's Deep I always holds. Yep, yep. It always holds. That's, you, right, that's I, right. I always manage to kill Saruman and Helm's Deep holds. But Yep, uh, that's how it goes, yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, this greatly diminishes the effect of what I'm going to do next, but that's okay. We'll keep trying. I'm going to play an army action. Okay. And I'm going to use that to play a card. I'll play the Shadow Lengthens. Move two Shadow Armies up to two regions. They must end in a region already occupied by a Shadow Army. So I'm going to move this lone elite to fold, and I'm going to move this army to fold. Okay. Sorry, I thought I took Saruman's dice out, but I didn't, so hopefully that keeps it out. Okay. Okay. Um... I'm gonna play, use an event action die to draw a. Oh, not your cards. Huh? Uh, sorry, oh, yeah. you. Yep. Yeah, yeah just... I'll, I'll draw one of your strategy <laughs> cards. I mean, if it went to my hand, that'd be awesome. But... Okay. I will use a character action to, whoop, to move this army into Dunedain Forest. Oh gosh, Matt, this is so stressful. <laughs> it's there's yeah, there. Wow. Um. I'm gonna use 
this event die. But I'm gonna use an elven ring. Okay. So there you go. You. Have fun have fun. Um I'm gonna use that as an army movement. Okay. I'm going to move. Oh. Ah. <laughs> move. It's army. Wow. That is a bold play. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> and then. I get one more army movement, yep. right? Yeah. Can I move these guys since they're not? Yep, they just can't cross a different colored border, even though they're not at war. So they can exit or enter. Yep. Okay. Go enter. Hmm. Well, that sure changes what I was going to do this turn. Or not turn, but like makes me doubt. Um, I don't think I, we're gonna play an army move. We're gonna move these guys to ask Gilead. Okay. We're gonna move. From Far Harad to Near Harad. Okay. Okay. Near move. Uh oh. Move yours. <laughs> Use a character. <laughs> Die. Move this army to Pelagrim. Okay. I will use a character die to attack Minas Tirith from these guys. Okay. To retreat into a siege. Yes. Okay. moves Gondor to war. It does, yep. Good call. Poor Gondor. Is that ever said in a film? I believe that... it's... <clears throat> oh, gosh, you're really gonna... Yeah, see, so it's um, the flashback when Farmir is lamenting on how Denethor doesn't like him, and then it's when Boromir is cheering on the troops at Asgiliath because he took back Asgiliath, and he's like saying for Gondor at the top of the tower, and all the, the the troops are cheering with him. Which is, I take it, that's extended in Return of the King. It could be extended, but it would be in the two towers, I believe, at the end of the two towers. Yeah. Oh, sounds like you you need to come over this weekend and uh, watch the movies again. <laughs> I gotta brush up, <laughs> that's for sure. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm gonna use a character die to move the fellowship. Okay. Three on just sixes. All right. Nothing. All right. Wow. I. Not gonna lie. I'm really like what you did. There. 
-hmm. and now I'm really torn on what I want to do. So. <laughs> I gotta think for a sec. Um, Gosh, I don't know. Okay, yeah, let's use the care. Okay. Don't like my reasoning for this, but I'm going to try it, so. <laughs> We're going to use a character action to attack Minas Tirith, and I okay. will play a card. I will not play a card. Okay. Well, you're lucky. I did Desperate Battle, so you get to uh, add one to all yay. dice in your combat roll. <laughs> So four fives and sixes and you hit on fives and fives sixes. Fives and sixes, right? yep. And you get two dice and I get five with three rerolls. Alright. Alright. Good luck. Good luck. One hit? I got two three. Hits. And you got two. Alright. So that's Minas Tirith. And All I right. will Ooh. I'll remove an Isengard Elite. I regret that, but we'll take the two hits that way. Okay, and then as the Witch King was in that battle, I get to draw another strategy card. Okay. Okay. So that is the end of the turn. All right. Oof. All right, I'm up to seven victory points. Corruption 2, Fellowship 1, and a dead Saruman. Going into turn 6. Alright. I will have to discard, just so you know. Yeah, same. This one, but I don't know if it's gonna be. Hmm. Yeah. Sorry, I'm just talking to myself. No worries. I really wanted to use this card. We can talk about it later, but I'll just. Right. I am down to five. Or six, I mean. Okay. 
Okay. I'm good. Okay. Uh, would you like to declare the position of the fellowship? Um, do I have to? No. And does it benefit me at all? I was going to say, I don't see any benefit to you right now. So. Okay, then no. All right. And then you can change the guide to Gimli if you wanted to, but they don't. both of them don't have a special ability, so you're fine with Legolas unless you really wanted to switch. Uh, yeah, I'm okay with that. Okay. With uh, Legolas. Ooh, I'm down to die. You're getting closer to... All right, I'm going to risk not allocating again. We'll see what the dice give me. Well, oh my gosh. okay. And again, I told you Aragorn and Gandalf love those <laughs> event yeah. action. Stupid event guy. Uh, um, I'm. Okay, hold on one second. Oh gosh. <laughs> uh oh. What did I do? What happened? I, I don't know. What's going on? Uh, my game is frozen and it's spinning. Oh yeah, okay. It says you're connecting. I can still hear you. You can hear me, right? Yep. Oh, okay. You just dropped. I'm saving the game right now. Okay. Just to make sure. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what happened. Okay. I might have to close out of my game. That's fine. I have... So I'll say... Oh, oh, oh no. Disconnect from... It just kicked me too. You can still hear me though, right? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, so it's not our internet. It might be Tabletop Simulator. I really hope we'll see where it's saved. Um, okay. The last autosave was... It's loading. All right. I think the last autosave is where we were at looking at the board. I'll check my cards and let you know. Uh, but I should be okay. able to just reinvite you. Oof. Okay. That was weird. Yeah, as soon as I went to click save, it just crashed on me. So weird okay so none of us have played any action dice this round right right okay then if i become red all right i have all the cards oh yep i have all the cards that i had all right they're spaced out strangely but that's fine <laughs> all right i should be able to invite you now And just to be safe, I'm going to make a manual save here. <laughs> okay. Save game. Butterfly Slayer Shadow 1. Connecting. Um, I was having an issue when I was like looking at all my cards. Okay. Yeah, mine are spaced out weird, too. Yeah, I just kind of... Uh, it went, once I took the blue or like the red roll, I just kind of dragged them together. So, and they worked. It worked. Um, okay. Okay. 
all right. Things are okay now. Okay. Wow, that but was weird. I also have no idea where my train of thought was. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that was my plan all along. I just unplugged the internet cord, you know. That's right. play an event card. Okay. Yeah. And I'm going to play Dirt on Ships. Nice. Alright. Uh, recruit two elven regular elites in a coastal region containing a free people's army. Okay. I'm gonna re uh, recruit two elven elites in Pellegrim. Okay. I'm going to... And I will Sorry, just thinking I'm going to move this army from Minas Tirith To Lassamark I will move I'll move this, some of this army here to join them. So, four na or okay. three Nazgul, so that's the two Witch army King. Movements. Yeah, so that's my two army movements. And we're going to do an elite. And then sure. Okay, we'll do that. Okay. Play through a day and a night. Yep. I'll move this army containing a companion up to uh, up to two regions. So I will move them to Dol Amrath. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty then. I will 
do a army movement. I will move this army here to Pelligrir. And I will move this army here to Umbar. Yeah. Oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Wonder what card you have. Uh, I'm going to play one more event action. Okay. I'm going to play the Grey Company. <laughs> Play yep. Shredders with the Free People's Army. Eliminate one regular unit. Um, place with an elite unit. Okay. And then draw two strategy event cards. Okay. I will remove one Zondor regular. Oops, not two Gondor elites. One Gondor elite. And two strategy event cards. Oh, wait. Those are a character, right? Yep. So you, you can just control Z, I think. It should. Oh, we can or just drag them back and reshuffle. Um, but yeah, you drew two character. Ah. I'll flip it. Oh. Ah. Sorry. No, no, no I. Uh, ah. Ah. Okay. I, I was trying to help. I'll stop. <laughs> All right. That's uh, that's right. Hang on. I'm sorry. Uh. All right. That's okay. <laughs> uh. Okay. And <laughs> if you want to shuffle the character deck, you can. Okay. Yep. I'll do that. I mean, I guess it really doesn't affect anything. So sorry, I did that. But uh, no, just... that's okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm not really concerned that you know that, unless it's going to win you the game, you know. So... Right. Hmm. All right. Well, we're gonna do. We'll play a character action and move this army to Lamadon. Okay. Oop. Every time. All right. direction to recruit a Gondor elite. Let me just hold on. You do have you that you're at eleven now there, just so you know. Oh I'm at eleven? We can check if you can get and then like get rid of a regular, but don't also don't forget I mean, I don't know if that's what your plan um you can only take five with you into a siege, right? If you remember that okay okay yeah yeah wait um does that come for shadow too for shadow too yep oh okay 
so we can I, I can check if like um, you could replace no, that's okay okay that's yeah. okay that works um I didn't realize I had 10 units there already gotcha okay Well, hmm. I suppose uh I don't really know what to do. <laughs> what the heck? Um, oh. I'll use a character die to move the fellowship. Okay. So I had on sixes. Nothing. Safe. Nice. Okay. Hmm. Wait. Oh, shit. Oh, never mind. <laughs> That's you okay. sure? Okay. Yeah. If you're sure. Yeah, I kind of, I kind of want to redo last turn, actually. I'd be all right with that. Okay. So you did not like you you did not move the fellowship there. I don't want to move the fellowship. Okay. All right. I think that's all reset. I think. <laughs> if you um, choose to keep that turn, we'll keep it as a safe hunt, if that helps. So, like, you'll, you'll still have rolled that three. So. <laughs> well, that's very kind of you. Um... So, I'm just curious, Matt. Yeah. If I go into a siege, there's so there's only five units right so it's a maximum of five yes so okay. aragorn and boromir don't count and your leader doesn't count and then any units that don't go with you in the siege go back to your reinforcements they don't die so okay. what about in for example in a um let's just say Let's just say this northern regular here. Yep. Was in. Let's just say he was in Eagle's Eric over here. Yes. Or Airy. Yep. And he was and he was fighting these two Sauron regulars. Yep. In the field. Um. And say we did a combat round, and I took out one regular in the field. Okay. Do after that one round, do do I? Can I continue to press, even though I don't have an elite? Correct, because they're not in a siege. Yep. So field battles, you don't need to downgrade to. Field us. battles are just like normal battles. Yep, and they both sides hit on fives or sixes. So. Okay. In that case, I'm going to use a character action, and I'm going to charge out of Dole Amrath. Okay. Into the field here. Would you like to and play attack this army? All right. <clears throat> yes, hundred <laughs> percent. Okay. Um. Yeah. 
we'll do that. Good. Um, you got your card selected? I'm between a couple. All right. I'll wait till you. You're good. I'll decide. Mm. Yes, I have mine figured out. Okay. I will... I will also play a card. Okay. All right. Uh, Daylight okay. Shadow Player rolls maximum of three dice. And I get to... Uh, before the combat roll, I can apply hits and add one to all dice. So. Whoa, you can apply up to two hits to oh, my units. Against your units. How yeah. does, what does that mean? So that means I just kill two of my units to get extra to then hit on higher numbers. So Add one. So you can hit on threes, fours, fives, and sixes? If I take out two, yep. Which I'm That's ridiculous. going to do because I only can roll three dice anyway. So, yeah. Okay. All right. Wow. Okay. Good luck. You too. Okay. I got three hits. Okay. I got one. One. But I have. I believe re-rolls. you have four rerolls because Aragorn gives you two, Boromir gives you one, and then your leader. So you can reroll your four misses. Okay. Two hits. Okay, two. Okay. So I got three on you, you got two. Hmm. Oh, you did get three. Okay. Yep. Would you like to press? And if so, would you like to play a card? Yes, I would like to. Uh, uh. Oh. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> yes, I would like to press. Will you be playing a card with that press? Yep, I'm playing a card. Um, okay. I will retreat to Pelagrir. Okay. Okay. Okay, so sounds good. And then, uh, sorry, since I played a card with the Witch King, we only did one round, so I will get to draw a card to replace that, which it was a strategy card. Okay. Okay. And would you like to move any units into Lama down here? No. Okay. Uh, actually. That's all right. Um. 
No, I don't want to. Okay. Hmm. All right, I will. to use my elven ring here as a muster okay. action to move the Saldarans and Easterlings closer to war. Okay. Uh, I'm going to use an army muster action to recruit a Gondor elite. Dual armor. Okay. going to you. sure Going to use a character action okay. and we will play oh, just... yeah we're gonna play Nazgul search mm -hmm. play if the Fellowship is on step one or higher of the Fellowship track. Move any or all the Nazgul. Then if one Nazgul is in the region with the Fellowship, the Fellowship is revealed. So I'm going to move one Nazgul to Skiliath and the other one to the Fellowship at Dimrald Dale, revealing them. How did you know I was there? <laughs> <laughs> so they are revealed, and you get to move them one ice, space ice, forward. Ice. Interaction to hide the fellowship. Okay. <laughs> is it secret? Is it safe? <laughs> I am going to draw a strategy event card. Okay. Okay. And I will draw a strategy event card. get rid of oh no okay be nice to hang on to this but I think I'm gonna get rid of this one. all right then we are moving on no one has one shadows at eight you are two corruption, zero movement, but you're getting closer to Mordor. All right, turn seven. This is the weirdest game. This is crazy. And I will definitely need to discard down now. <laughs> oh, I hate getting rid of these. Yeah. 
I am down to six. Yeah, so are you. Alright. Would you like to declare... Well, you can't declare. Would you like to change the guide? Um, no. Is there a reason that... Did we flip that on X? I have no idea why anything is okay. flipped. I, did, I don't think I did that, so I don't know what happened. But, well, Legolas should be the guide, I believe. Still. Yeah. Alright. I don't know if we ever did flip Legolas. Like oh, that. that could have been why and it, the game got confused. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think when we reset, I don't think we All right. did that, yeah. So this may come to bite me, but I'm going to allocate zero eyes. Okay. Good luck. Thank you. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Well, okay. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> You're kidding me. <laughs> oh, what the heck? <laughs> That's okay. I just realized there's actually 11 people in Umbar. Do you want me just to remove one from the, the map? Uh, we're back to Nierharad. Back to Nierharad, okay. Whatever you're happy with. So. Yeah, that works. Um, I guess I'll use a muster action and recruit and Gosh. delete. And... Here. Okay. Well, I will use a muster action to bring the Southrons and Easterlings to war. Yeah. Sorry, just trying to think. Oh, you're. F I, it's a. This is a tough. <laughs> uh, in all aspects. Okay. 
Um, can I ask you something? Yeah. Never mind. Actually, no, okay. no, no. I can't. I can't ask you that. Okay. Because I, I'm, I'm just anticipating your next move. Yep. But that would, if you gave any insight, that would just allow me to. Yeah, never mind. Okay. This has got to be one of the weirdest Lord of the Ring games, right? It's, like, it's, this is just so bizarre. It is wild, but it's amazing too. It really is. <laughs> I've never gotten eight victory points like this close in the or like this early in the game. You know, like I've had to work for mine. You're just <laughs> raking them in, you know. Uh, what can I say? You know, I was been evil at heart. <laughs> I suppose. Um, okay. After all that time. It's all right. No. All right. I am going to. Sorry, I gotta think for a sec. to do a muster I'm gonna muster a Sauron elite in Moria This army to Holland, and I'm going to move this army to Pelagrir. Oh no, it succeeded. I thought I had counted right. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. So one guy gets left in Asgiliath. All right. Okay.
I am gonna play an event card. Yep. So we're the Nerador. Recruit one northern unit in the Shire and one dwarven unit in Eridluene. Okay. going to play an event half orcs and goblin men oh. to bring an elite Isengard unit into a region where a shadow army is present and go here gonna muster an elf elite in Rivendell. Okay. I will. We'll play a event action to play. Well, it's an event action, sorry. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> to play Hail Trolls. Place two Sauron regular units anywhere on the board with two Sauron elite units. Okay. I'm going to go for. Yeah, I'm gonna replace these two up here with two elites. Uh, sorry.
is an army yeah. action. I'm gonna move my units from Rivendell to Troll Shawls. And then I'm going to move my units from the Woodland Realm to Old Forest Road. Okay. should I do? Hmm. Alright, I suppose I'll use... torn here. Okay, we're going to do a character action to move all Nazgul. Okay. Gosh. Okay. Wait. 
Yep. I'm gonna use an. Ah, that was an army. I okay. Can... Yep, I saw it. Um. And this army here. Yeah. I'm going to use a I will use an army action okay. to move these <clears throat> guys to the Fords of Brunin. Whoops. You okay? Yeah. Yeah, that's clean enough. And then I will move hmm, decisions. Sorry, just uh Or is this game is racking my brain. I yeah, I can't even begin to comprehend what's going on most of the time. <laughs> and I'm gonna move this army to East Rune. Okay. I'm gonna draw a strategy card with that last. Okay. Okay. Would you like to take that back? Otherwise, I will win. And you you can just move into Rivendell. Yeah, there. that is a connection. Oh, lame. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll take that back. Okay.
To be honest, I don't even know what card I drew, so. Nope, I I didn't see anything, so. Um, so I guess I'll use an Elven Ring. Okay. an army movement move those guys there okay and these guys here yep all right good turn we'll see i don't know <laughs> and i will use my last character action to play a card I'm going to play Dreadful Spells. Play if the okay. Shadow Army containing a Nazgul is adjacent to a Free People's Army. Roll a number of dice equal to the number of Nazgul oh. up to five and score a hit on every result for five plus. Wow. So I'm going to do this against Rivendell and hopefully I score two hits would be great. Five plus. One hit. Well, all right, it's something. And I can't downgrade, right? You, uh, you could, yes, because you have one regular left in your casualties to downgrade. Okay. All right. That is the end of the turn. Oh. Wow. I don't like this game. I don't. No. I start out I so either. strong, but you're you're defending so well. <laughs> Am I? <laughs> I feel like it at this point. The last two victory points are a bear. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Okay, eight to ten. Start turn eight. Wait, what the heck? Oh, this is just silly. <laughs> All right. All right. Oof. Would you like to declare the position or change the guide? No. Okay. Um, I'm going to allocate no dice. Okay. Oh, that hurts. All right. What the? Well, that is just unfortunate. <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> uh. What the heck? <laughs> I'm asking the same question here. <laughs> oh my god. It's alright. It's the way the dice roll. Yeah, no kidding. Um. That changes things. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I wonder what you're going to do this turn. <laughs> uh, you have no idea what's coming. Let me tell you. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well... All right, time to get crazy. Okay, let's see it. I, think. I mean, I'm gonna use a 
character action. Okay. To I guess move this army. <laughs> Come on. Here. Sorry, just thinking here. No worries. Thinking about what you're going to muster. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just think that's so funny. I've never, like... Had a full straight. Never. <laughs> nope. I, I mean, not just musters, but like Anything. of any of the same guy. Yep. It's weird. All right, we will do. Muster a Celdron and East Wings Elite in North Room. Sorry, where where oh, was that? Up here. Okay. I'm going to use my last elven ring. Okay. There you go. Have fun. Um, I'll use one of the muster die yep. as um, an, an event action die. Okay. And I'm going to play the Spirit of Mordor. Choose any army on the board that is Very composed nice. of two different shadow nations. Roll five dice and one hit for each die of five or more. So I'll use it on okay. this army here. There you go. Don't do it. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's about how this game's going for me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> going to muster a South Rise and Easterlings elite in up here. I'm going to use a Will of the West yeah. to attack Pelligrir. Alright, would you like to play a card? Um, you will be hitting on sixes for the first round. Oh, I will? Yep. Since it's a since it's a city. I, oh, it's not a field battle. It is not. It is a city battle. It, will I need to downgrade to press? 
No, you will not need to downgrade a press. Um, it's just the first round you hit on sixes. Other than that, it's a normal battle. So, just like a fortification. Mm -hmm. Yes, I would like to play a card. Okay. You know when you have your selected. I do. And I will also play a card. Alright. Um, shadow player rolls one die less in the combat roll for each companion in the battle. Okay. After removing casualties from the combat roll and lead reroll, I can inflict four additional hits on my units and then roll a die and get a result on four plus. So, so I am rolling three uh, die. Oh, okay. For the combat. And you have four rerolls. Uh, yes. Okay. All right. Uh, good luck. Good luck. Oof. Okay. I got one. You got two. And you get three rerolls. Wait, no, I didn't get any, right? Cause... Oh, you have to hit on sixes. You're right. So you have four rerolls. Good call. Two hits. Mm, one hit. Oh, two hits. I don't know why I misread that six. All right, you're good. That's okay. And then you got one hit, so I will take... I will take... So if I downgrade an elite, does the elite get discarded and then the regular unit gets pulled out? Or does the elite go back into the reserves? The, so sorry, the elite would die, and then you could take a regular either from the, uh, re, uh, like death or the reinforcements. Yep. So, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. So now I can inflict hits. All right, we're just gonna go for it. Okay. All right, four. So I have to hit on four plus. You can roll four die. Huh? Yep. There we go. Please no. Come on, give me something. Three, okay. Um. I never know like the best combination of taking hits. I know so. it's. <laughs> so I guess I will. That's two hits. I guess. This is the same thing. Go like that. Okay. Okay. Um, would you like to press? Yes. And would you like to play a card? Yes. Okay. I will. Sorry, I gotta think for a sec. Sure, I will retreat.
Okay. Would you like to move anyone into Pelper? Alright. Oops. <laughs> ah. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh, why can't I move it? <laughs> there we go. You're doing all right over there. All right. Yeah, Aragorn is struggling. He's going to stay like that. <laughs> he looks a little sad. I'll try to help you out. Thank you. you gonna muster up that that's a good question isn't it so so many jokes we can make about the mustering oh ridiculous <laughs> absolutely ridiculous all right sure i will muster another Saldron and easterling up here <laughs> the will of the west as an army action okay uh not this again move this army here this army here okay very nice i'm going to use going to use a muster action with a elven ring as an army action okay and i am going to move <clears throat> the saren regular to pelagrir no. these four to Minas Tirith. okay that's cheeky <laughs> uh. wow Oh, I just, I can't believe that. <laughs> oh, that's so dumb. I, I ruined the the game there. Uh, okay. That's my mistake. Uh, sorry, and then you do have Lamadon back. Yeah. I'm going to use a muster <laughs> yeah how does it feel <laughs> elite okay yeah. i will use a muster to recruit a decisions Sorry, thinking. Um, sure, I will muster. I don't 
don't know. There's just so many things I could muster. Huh? I'll muster a Sauron. Put a Sauron Elite in Moria. Okay. Let's see if I regret that. All right. And that is my last muster. Remove. Sounds good. Getting ridiculous. Uh... <laughs> hmm. Um, well, really need to draw courses of Umbar here. I've got a over 10% chance, and then maybe can get a little higher chance. I guess I'm gonna muster the north towards war. Okay. All right. What a turn. Gee. Yeah. <laughs> so, still eight. You moved up to two. Starting turn nine. Oof. Wow. I'm good. All right. I will. So fellowship's fine. Yep. All right. I will allocate no die. Good luck. Oh, oh wow! What a swingy. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Yeah. No kidding. My turn? It is. Okay. Hmm. I'm going to use an army action to attack Minas Tirith. Okay. We will retreat into a siege. Maybe. If the button will work. Alright. Okay. 
Okay. I will do a do an army action mm -hmm. to move up in here, North Rune, to the Vale of the Carnum. Okay. And then East Rune also to the Veil. Vale. Okay. Alright. Um I'm gonna use an army action to attack Ministera. Okay. Would you like to play a card? Make sure I can see here. You can see. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you are playing a card. All right. Um, I will also play a card. All right. Okay. Ready. Mm -hmm. Review. Oh. <laughs> Alright. That shows. Uh, Alright. Well played. Thank you. I'm glad I didn't play a different card. Oh, great. <laughs> Alright. So you hit on sixes, I hit on five or sixes. And I've got four, yeah. and you have four, five because of Aragorn and Boromir. And the leadership. And then, yeah, four All leadership. Alright. Right. Luck. Good luck. One hit. Nothing. Wow. Wow. And then you have, you can reroll four. Oh yeah. I believe. Okay. So you just got your one hit. Yeah. I will downgrade a. We'll downgrade and I don't think it matters. We'll downgrade and I guard elite. All right. Would okay. you like to downgrade to press? No. Okay. We will. Oh, gosh, decisions. Sorry, just thinking. Sure, we'll just go for, I'm going to play a character action, mm -hmm. and I'm going to take all of my Nazgul, including the <laughs> Witch King again, and we're just going to up and move to the Veil. Alright. Alright. Okay. Use an army action. Okay. And
And I will attack Minas Tirith again. Okay. Would you like to play a card this time? Yes. Okay. I will not. Okay. Nice. That's Play a good one. Okay. Yeah, forfeit Aragorn's leadership for up to so two. You're hitting me for hits. two. Good thing I didn't play a card that I was going to play. Good luck. All right. Thanks. You too. Um, you have five because of Aragorn and Blaster. I got nothing. You got nothing? Okay. Well, yeah, nothing yet. Right? So you'll forfeit. Sh will, you, will you forfeit Aragorn's? Wait, before you roll. Yes, forfeit Aragorn's leadership. So, okay. so now I you have two. Yep, or so, so now you have two leadership to do rerolls. Yep. So you got two hits, and then you have Boromir's plus a leader. Is. Ah, okay. Yeah. You just down. Upgrade and downgrade. All right. Would you like to downgrade and lead to press? Um. Would you like to play a card? Yes. Okay. I will not. Oh. Um. Oh, sorry. Well, uh, if you were going uh, to, you have to have it selected before, technically, but obviously. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> sorry, I thought um, you had one selected when you. <laughs> Uh, well, the one that I had <laughs> doesn't apply for this region. Okay. Unfortunately. Oh, so you couldn't have played it. Sorry. Nope, we're fine then. If that changes things, do you want to... You can play a card if you... Nope. I, I think I'm okay without so okay sorry about that no you're totally fine all right i, I read it a little more i've done that many that a time so all right. we got to get at least one hit here just so we go down with a the fight there we go good luck you too there we go all right two hits we got two and you have three rerolls yeah. Okay. Oof, two hits. I'll take out an Isengard Elite. And I got two hits on you, so. Okay. Would you like to downgrade yeah, to press? I don't think I can downgrade. Oh. Yeah, you'd have to kill that unit. Um. So. Oh, kill him entirely? I, I, press. I think you can kill him to press, from my understanding, but yeah, you'd have to get rid of him. So. Yeah. No, that's alright. Alright. Oof. So, my turn? 
Okay, I'm going to play an event action, and I'm going to okay. play Olakai. So Saruman's okay. at war, or sorry, Sauron's at war. Recruit one Sauron unit in a region where a shadow army is present. Mm -hmm. So I'm putting a Sauron elite in Minas Tirith. Whoa, oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Sorry, yeah. No, that's okay. All that work I did is just <laughs> gone. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, hi, Dotsa boy. Um, Sorry I missed your message. Malone, uh, I haven't played solo. Is there a uh, solo game? I'm playing a uh, friend here um, who uh, we go back and forth pretty often. Hope you're doing well. Ah, uh, gotcha. We were probably deep in uh, thought thinking. Um, but yeah, I did hear there is a solo bot that you can play where you kind of follow a flowchart to um, compete and practice. I haven't tried it yet once, but I think it could be cool. Um. Oh, and thanks for the follow. I'm going to use a Will of the Do you play War of the Ring? Is it okay. army action? Okay. This army here. Oops. <laughs> and uh, the fellowship too. Uh, <laughs> I can't move them. I don't know why. That's weird. Um, All right. Okay. And then this Elven elite here. Okay. I am going to use a I will use a character action right yeah to attack Dale okay I will not play a card or Sorry. Um, I will play a card. Sorry. Okay. Me too. Okay. I just threw mine out. All right. Ready? Yep. Oh, nice one. Okay. Scouts. <laughs> Maybe waste great host. Uh, <laughs> I do think I That's still get right, to okay. draw for the Witch King, um, though. Okay, since you played a card, yeah. that's fair. Okay. That's how. That's my understanding of it, at least. Yeah. Oh, man, of course now this card comes out on probably Wait, the last turn. Can I not retreat into the Woodland Realm? Does it have to be an adjacent region since... Yep. No. So it, this is the um, this is the like exception to the rule. You can retreat into Woodland Realm because it's a retreat and not a regular movement. So that is a yep. That's okay. a good move. So, and then North gets one step closer to war. I will move in and take Dale, which means they will go to war. Uh oh. The North is all the way at war. Yep. You can move them down. Good play. Scouts is fun. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, I was, I was wondering when I was gonna be able to use that. So. <laughs> uh, your turn. Oh, nice! I actually just got um, Battle of the Five Armies okay. a month ago or so um, with the reprint, and I haven't had a chance to get it on the table yet. But um, I'm excited to compare them as well. It seems very similar, but the army movements and like casualties seem different, so I think that's going to be really rough to try to get used to. Um. I try to play War of the Ring pretty often on here, so uh, maybe one of these times I'll finally get out Battle of the Five Armies on a stream and you'll give me all the advice or my opponent. I'm 
needs an army muster. Okay. To recruit Gondor leader here. Okay. I'm going to use a army muster to use an army action to besiege the woodland realm. Okay. Unless you would like to fight it out. No. Okay. I figured as much. And I don't think you can do anything, but I've learned from my mistakes, and one guy is staying behind. <laughs> yeah, <sounds good. laughs> I think I should um, have it here. Obviously, we'll see if he has an event so card that can use affect my it. Event but... action. Okay. And I guess draw a strategy guard. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, great. Okay, cool. <laughs> oh, no. Um, I'm going to use a muster die with a ring okay. as an army action. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to push the Siege of the Woodland Realm. And I will play a card. Okay. Would you like to play a card? Um, uh, no. Okay. I'll play forfeit one point and ask Leadership to add one to all dice on my leader reroll. So I hit on okay. sixes at first and then five or six. All right. Good luck. You too. Nothing. I get to reroll them all. And there it is. Good game. Good game. Wow. Jeez. That I was, was a mess. I was honestly getting really nervous at the end there. You put up a really good final two turns. Uh <laughs> you well, first off, you getting all musters the last turn. Like extend, just extended the game. <laughs> okay, for that's me. fair. That. <laughs> like, oh, otherwise, that you would have won last game. Um, I, I thought I you mean, had a good was, shot at taking Minas Tirith. That was, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what it is. Whenever I try and siege you, like, it's, like, it's because I had to come back and try and, you know, retake Minas Tirith that I wasn't able to do it because, like. I don't know, but I also don't think I had any choice other than to like leave. Otherwise, I think that entire army down here was gonna get wiped out, and then you would have just gone and take the Amaranth and won the game. Yeah, no, way. I think that was. So I think like regrouping in Dol Amaranth and then kind of pushing back extended my game a little bit. Oh no, I definitely think that... yeah. I think that was. It, it seemed so strange at the time, but I think that was an amazing move because the two armies I had were way higher than anything you had in this tier. I think you could have lost Aragorn. So I think that was like, I didn't know what you were doing, but it really, it gave you a fighting chance. So that was cool. I <laughs> didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> uh, but, no, I thought that was then, a good move. Yeah. But then your armies up here were just too much for me. I couldn't, well, couldn't I do anything. I could just muster it forever. So <laughs> that's true. That's true. Yeah. I, I guess I was also worried that you were going to draw, or you, well, I'm assuming you had Corsairs and you were going to use it nope. at some point. I drew it after the last combat oh. from the Witch Gate, yeah. <laughs> like, 
<laughs> oh, uh, so you ju you didn't have it the last two rounds. Nope, I had just been keeping them there to A, make you think I had it so you didn't send everyone away, and then B, that maybe I could finally have it come through. And See, that would have changed things. Like, I know. If, if, I, if I knew, like, there's no way of knowing, but if I knew you didn't have Corsairs, I would have pushed with everyone. Oh, yeah, and you would have taken. And then yeah. not have lost Pellegrier, and I think I would have retaken Minas Tirith. No, and I think you had, um, so, like, looking at it, you had probably, a, like, I think you had some rough rolls, like, a little under a 50% shot of Minas Tirith, and I'm just throwing that number out, just because we had almost equal, like, unit numbers when you attacked, but you had Aragorn and Boromir, which helped. So I think, like, if you hadn't had those two, it would have been not possible, but I think they yeah. made it, like, where it was just up to the, you know, dice and, you know. Right. But those four elite units is so tough. Yeah. No, um, that's... That's so hard to crack. That, that's a lot of hits. As, yeah. And that's why I left Dull Amroth, because you had six elites there. And I was just like, well. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That would have taken, like, two turns. Yep, that would have been rough. All, the, all those fights. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I I don't know. I, I couldn't move the Fellowship at all. Yeah, you're, um, it was the times you had good runs, I had a lot of... Um, eyes and then the times you had bad ones I had no eyes that was unfortunate right <laughs> yeah uh. yeah but there were a few turns in a row where I had like zero yeah just like zero movement yep. ability and well I mean it, and also like you kind of were consistently doing one or two a turn so you got pretty good the first like three or four turns and then I just kind mm -hmm. of like we switched to all military and that was tough <laughs> so <laughs> Yeah, I had to. Yeah, you had me scrambling, so I just couldn't even <laughs> move the fellowship. <laughs> I I needed to do. I don't know. I think I I utilized the fellowship enough to be able to, like, bring out Aragorn and and Gandalf. Yep. Um, I think that was helpful to get rid of like Saruman, and to you know get Aragorn down to in Minas Tirith, but otherwise, the Fellowship was kind of useless this game. Yeah, they did not make it as far as they, they wanted to. Mm hmm Yeah. But I was thinking, if, if you didn't have a massive army up here, um, I was hoping to um, try and besiege Moria and then get four victory points that way. I I honestly thought that's what you were like you doing, and that's why I was really torn. I wasn't gonna put anyone in Moria, but I was like, I have to have someone, otherwise he's like, if I fail a siege, then he wins. So yeah. It was... <laughs> yeah, but there yeah, there's no way you're failing that siege. It's pretty good no, up there. That was uh yeah. Well, yeah, because Rivendell would have been really people again. tricky. And of course, I wasted turns with that muster because I sent everyone to Rivendell thinking, oh, I'll take that. And then no, all the musters, I was like, well, we're abandoning Rivendell now. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. There was something I was going to do over here. I think I was going to... I was going to have these units over here. Because what were you initially going to do? You had I these was... units... Were... You were going for Rivendell? I was going time? for Rivendell, yep. I was going to use that okay, Alakai I... to recruit another elite here and then push Rivendell with five elites. So. Gotcha. I didn't know if you were going to try and take the Shire just as like a security yeah. point over here. Um, so if you were going that way, I was going to try and like send these guys here. I think you were... I was right here no, I think... moving... I think you, um, I think you were here and I was here, and then I moved to here, and that's where I said, "Oh, you might want to yeah. take that back." Yep. Yeah. So. Right. Because you were gonna try to loop yeah, around. But, and... Yeah. But I was gonna sneak in and take Moria if you were gonna take Rivendell. That would have been good. <laughs> yeah. So who wins if it ends ten victory points to four victory points? I mean, did you not watch the YouTube short where you obliterated me by getting 10 victory points and I had four victory points and you won? No, I'm just I kidding. can't remember. <laughs> There's been so many War of the I know. Rings. There's so many games. different winnings that we've done. Yeah, no. So Shadow wins because Middle Earth is too corrupted is the uh, like the in-game reasoning. So. Gotcha. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, so that was where that one game where I got four and then you managed in one turn to get six more victory points because I didn't leave anyone in Woodland Realm. You walked in there and then took, I think it was like um, Helm's Deep and something else and got 10 victory points. Oh, that's right. Yep. And it was it was awesome for to see, but also very upsetting as the free people's player almost going for a military mm -hmm. victory. <laughs> yeah. Wow, I feel like I couldn't. I like there was a lot that happened this game, but I felt like I couldn't do anything. Okay. Um, like I I felt very helpless the entire time, um, because. I, yeah, I don't know if there was like if there's any like points in time that you that stood out to you that like if you had any suggestions for me as the free people. Yeah, honestly, or... I think you did pretty well. I got really lucky being able to take Rohan quick just with the cards I had. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. to play, um, and then being able to yeah, because that was a huge army that you yeah had right here coming down to Minas Tirith. Exactly. Um. And so, like, I think you played the fellowship well, like balancing fellowship and military. And then I honestly, like, I, like I'm not joking. Like, the musters didn't help, but the turn before the musters, when you started going on the offensive down here, and then you got the elves to war up here, I felt threatened for like I, I feel like you could have gone for military victory, but you started to. So like, I definitely think, and like you stopped caring about the fellowship, which I thought was good. So like, if you could have stopped me here, I think it would have been it would be a lot closer just because I'd be so. Um, like fractured at this point you know spread out everywhere yeah. so mm -hmm. it was just I had with those musters honestly I had a big enough army to march this way you know so yeah that makes sense but no I'll um, think if there's anything of, I can think of but overall of like I regret oh go well, ahead. No, I was gonna say the balance I thought was good for at for like mustering to kind of be like proactive but also moving the fellowship for the first few turns so yeah oh thanks yeah um yeah, I mean that's that's tough with um, all of the nations, you know, being so high up initially. Yeah, yeah. Um, to, to do anything really. Um, but there was that one card. It was, it was like the the, um, the wave of Mordor or something like that, um, that I had, and it was to roll five dice against an army oh. with two different shadow yep. units. Yep. I, I wish I would have held on to that until um I was hiding in Minas Tirith. Yeah. Because you know? that would have been really nice to try and roll like four hits against these guys here, but um yeah, I rolled five dice and didn't get anything. <laughs> I I hate when that happens. That's so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Well, and also not to, you know, I mean, I won, so I can't complain, but the stupid uh, fight in Minas Tirith where I just kept rolling nothing every time until the end. Oh, I know. Uh, I was like, really? Like, we've had three combat rounds and I've rolled twos and threes the whole time. But... Yeah. Yeah. No, but that was good. I So what'd you think of uh, Free Peoples besides obviously trying to balance everything? <laughs> I didn't like it. Oh, no. <laughs> I didn't like it. Um, I still don't really have a good grasp of how to like balance the strategy um, mm -hmm. of like what I should have been doing the whole time. Um, like I said, it just felt like I was more so reacting to you as opposed to like any making any real progress in the game. Yeah. Which I don't know if that's how you feel being as of free people since like obviously the shadow has a huge military presence right away yep and, and so it's um, kind of i feel both um like so i feel like militarily i'm usually reactive so it's like when you start moving somewhere that's when i start maybe mustering them down to war or mustering units to try to hold on to you know a few things or use cards mm -hmm. um yeah. but then i try to be really proactive about the fellowship so, like, I try to move quick the first few turns to kill off Gandalf and get through Moria. Um, and then I can mm -hmm. slow down and maybe heal Lorien or Minas Tirith. Some people don't do that. I mean, I like, who I've played, but, like, I like to try to heal up is kind of my strategy usually. But 
Yeah. Um, and then another thing you could have done, which um, you could have probably, which might have helped, is split off like Legolas and some of the others to join the armies once you saw things were going militarily. Um, yeah, I kept getting those cards to like split up the fellowship, and I didn't really know how to use those. Okay. Or um. Yeah, I did. I didn't really know how to use those well. Yeah, they're tough, especially the ones that say like have a companion in Erebor, you know, and stuff like that. <laughs> but uh, the other one is you could just use a character die to separate. If you remember that. Yeah. So. And is it? And if you separate them, you separate the amount of movement that's on their card. Plus, where however far the fellowship has hit and moved. Yeah. So. Okay, so like say Fellowship was at two, Legolas has like two movement, right? Yep. So what does so, so does that mean like if from here I can say like down here and then one Yep, you could have two. gone to Minas Tirith with that four because it'd be four or past Minas Tirith, yeah. So Can you stop in Minas Tirith if you have if the movement is more than Yep, you can stop if it's less than. It's just they can't stop in a besieged stronghold unless, like, so, like, yeah. you could stop here because you're besieging, but you couldn't go and help while, like, you were under siege there or something like that. Right. Except there is a single card that lets you, I think. Like, it might mm -hmm. be Book of Mazarbul or one of those. So, Can you move anywhere? Like, if... Like, if this is two, Legolas is two, can I move four this way? Yep, you can move through enemy armies in Nazgul. It's just if you pass a shadow stronghold, you have to stop in that stronghold. So okay, but it, and okay. you start and you so like oh, no, so so realistically, I could have like seven movement. Yep, and I could not declare the like I could purposely not declare the fellowship, and I could just put leadership like essentially wherever I wanted at that point around yeah. here yeah yep the only issue would be um like you can you like if you each separation they have to travel together so it'd be like you know maybe four different actions to move them to the individual places but that's absolutely something you could do if you were able to move far enough so yeah okay without getting revealed or declared yep mm-hmm I had a really nasty combo I didn't get to use on you, but sorry, when you were up here and I played that, which was, um, I know you, you've used it on me several times, I forget what it's called, and that was at bat, like, Cruel Weather, and I moved you back into Moria. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I then had um, the Nazgul search, so I was going to put a Nazgul in Moria, reveal you, and make you draw another tile within Moria. Um, but then... And then you already had a Nazgul outside too right exactly but like, uh but then you declared the next round so you were safe and i was like ah <laughs> yeah yikes that would have been bad but it's not like the corruption would have mattered anyways because you were pressing so hard militarily and i couldn't even get close to mordor yep yeah you know i think i like i think you had a it was just a tough start uh, not like anything you did just the way the game started so um that definitely slowed you a bit so yeah that was a tough start i just felt i i felt <laughs> like i was scrambling the entire time i felt so bad too because you, you know it's your first time playing free and i'm like i'm just like marching over rohan here yeah, <laughs> yeah rohan was gone in in like two of your die like, uh. in, yeah <laughs> I apologize. It felt like I was just, uh, you know, trying to crush you. It was not the go. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. I was just waiting for those like fancy cards that you normally have that yep. like wipe I... out an entire shadow army. And then you drew him too yeah. late, but you were able to kill Saruman, which was annoying. So that was yeah. well done. I liked that. That that was helpful. But still, you had like so many Isengard. Yeah, elite it, units that were down here, anyways. So. That being able to jump them from Lorien and or think right to here with that card was great. That was. Yeah. Yeah, those wow, those elites traveled all the way to Dalamrith and back. They had a really crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> they went to Lorien, Dalamrith, and then the Minas Tirith to, to end their their stay. That's crazy. 
That is crazy. Yeah, I definitely. Yeah, I mean, the, I I do find I was gonna say I find the balance a lot tougher on the free peoples. Um, mm -hmm. Shadow, I just have like analysis paralysis of there's so many places to get victory points, and I have to try to figure out where to focus on. So that's where I was struggling, and obviously it worked out. That's but true. that's where I was like jumping up here, here, and down here, just like oh gosh, what am I gonna yeah. do? Um, and I'm yeah. sure that's something well, that's... as I play more, I'll get used to like oh seeing those earlier. But yeah. Well, that's normally what, um, that's normally my issue is that you did a very good job of securing, um, you know, Helm's Deep and Edoras right away, making me feel pressured in Minas Tirith. Um, I have a hard time when I'm Shadow is that I will get, how do you, is it, is it? Oh, that yeah like i'll have i have no issue with like having four or um like four different shadow army fronts like ready to attack an area mm -hmm. but then i'll like run out of um like army die to be able to like oh attack yeah. and get all of those victory points you know yeah so you're just staged but you can't finish up <laughs> exactly gotcha and i mean that pretty much not you know didn't because but like with that muster roll i was staged up here and was staged down here and then i just had to kind of sit there and twiddle my thumbs for a turn which is hilarious uh, yeah that was <laughs> <laughs> i mean that was just uh you know allowing me to breathe a little bit before the, the spear went through my heart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but... No, that was... I certainly have a much deeper appreciation <laughs> for this game after trying to play as free people okay. and a, like an appreciation for, like... like, how well you play as the free people. <laughs> because um, there's... It certainly is a lot to balance, um, and I don't know, maybe it's like, maybe it it does come down to like cards I drew and maybe how some of the dice rolled. Um, like maybe if like some things were just slightly different then um, maybe it would have like been a different outcome for me yeah like, no who, i think who's to, who's to say and like i mean maybe i just have to play another round as the free people and see what happens yeah i i would say i noticed it started to get a lot more like i wouldn't say easy but like the balance became a lot clearer of how to allocate things the the more i played as free people uh, just because i feel like yeah. that's more of an issue with the free people than shadow um, mm -hmm. so but yeah that no makes sense. I will always, uh, I'll always play free, but uh, I also, I did enjoy trying the doing the shadow, so I, I'd be happy to yeah. do some flip flopping as we continue our uh, our league, you know. So. Yeah, well, you did great. Um, I I certainly felt the pressure the entire time. <laughs> yeah, I I thought the only way to beat you was to do like some crazy moves by like allowing you to take Minas Tirith. Is at the time, your entire military presence was down here. Yeah. So I was just like, well, I'll allow you to take these. I'll defend all Amareth, but then I didn't have any other like <laughs> units to protect up here. So. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Which maybe instead of um. Maybe instead of coming down here to Dol Guldur, I should have left like the um, the uh, Woodland Realm Elves oh, yeah. up here. Because I did also have like it took a while for the North to be able to get to war, but I also had like something that could have recruited Northern troops to Carrick, and okay. then I could have I could have had more defense up here. Because I would have right. to pretty much go through the north to get there, so yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, I, yeah, I could have put up more of a fight at the Woodland Realm, as opposed to coming down here. 
But I guess my thought was either like try and take Moria or try and Retake reclaim Lor Lorien if I had another round. No, I think those make sense, yeah. Yeah, I didn't foresee this massive <laughs> Easterling army coming over. Because it took a while for you to do anything with the Easterlings. Like, you... I, I guess it was just all the musters that you had that... It really was. I mean, I did... I had moved these guys to East Rune a while back and then hadn't moved them until the last turn. So, yeah. Yeah, that was... That was fun. No, I had a good time. It's good to get back yeah, into well, some War of the Ring. Yeah, thanks for playing. Um, sorry you've had two late nights in a row. I mean, um, if you're playing War of the Ring, is it really a late night? So. I I don't know. I, I don't think so. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, thanks for it. This was fun. And yeah, like I said, I'm, unless I'm really... Well, you don't have to be that angry. You know, <laughs> unless I'm really feeling it, it's really hard for me to turn down the War of the Rings. So you've got my weakness now. 